Hello everyone, I'm Zhao Ruoke from Zhejiang University. My topic is developmental pattern of individual morphometric similarity network in the human fetal brain. I have no disclosures. MR-based morphological brain connectum provides a powerful tool for describing the structural coherence at a network level. And based on graph theoretical method, many studies reveal the small word topology in the adult brain, especially in the infant brain. However, fetal morphological brain connectum has not been established, probably due to the challenges in data acquisition and processing, like fetal and maternal motion, poor tissue contrast, and complex image reconstruction process. In recent years, there have been a lot of advanced MR acquisition and reconstruction technologies. Our lab also has some research basis in this field. In this study, we acquired high resolution in utero T2 images and presented the fetal morphological brain network for the first time and investigated the spatial temporal development and the dynamic reorganization of the network topology during the prenatal period. We finally include 91 fetuses within the GA range of 22 to 39 weeks, and the T2-weighted images were acquired using haste sequence on 3T Siemens scanner. Each 3D volume was reconstructed from 2D multi slice stacks using slice volume registration and super resolution reconstruction. And a number of cortical morphological features, including mean curvature, Gauss curvature, curvedness, circle depth, cortical thickness, and the surface area were extracted using a modified DHCP structural pipeline. And each fetal brain was parcelated utilizing CIL atlas. After that, Pearson's correlation between the vectors of cortical features from each pair of puzzles was performed to obtain a morphometric similarity network for each fetal brain. We analyzed the developmental pattern of the matrix from edge, node, and lobe level. We first found the connection strength of contralateral homologous regions decreased with age in the whole brain, especially in the parietal lobe. And at the node level, we found that the number of edges with positive GA dependence was higher in the limbic regions, and the number of edges with negative GA dependence was higher in the parietal occipital regions. Finally, in the graph theoretical analysis, network of all fetal brain showed a sigma greater than 1, indicating the appearance of small world topology before 22 weeks. CPLP and local efficiency decreased with age, and global efficiency increased with age, suggesting an enhanced integration and weakened segregation during the prenatal period. Also, the results from DHCP neonatal data revealed the similar trend. In conclusion, this is the first study of morphological network of fetal brain using in utero MRI, filling a gap in prenatal brain network research. And we found that the drastic changes in fetal morphological network were mainly associated with the parietal, occipital, and the limbic regions. More importantly, we confirmed for the first time that the small world topology already existed in the fetal brain starting from mid-second trimester, and the network topology exhibited an enhanced integration and weakened segregation during the prenatal period. That's all. Thank you.